Drifting is a very young sport. You know, we you're talking 11 years in the U.S. At a, at a top level, top scale, and maybe 20 years total globally. So when you look at other sports that are very, you know, been here for a long time, they're very refined and, you know, they have their direction and that's what they're doing. And, you know, drifting has gone through a lot of changes and trying to really find its place, especially here in the U.S. But now, you know, we're seeing series and events all over the world. And, you know, I think uh, we haven't reached, you know, where we're going with this sport. Um, I think one thing that kind of holds us back is, you know, it's a little bit too technical for uh, people uh, and our uh, attention spans these days. I mean, time-wise and what's going on the track is perfect for our attention spans, but having to learn the intricacies and understand who wins and why they win is something that is seemingly confusing. You know, there's not a clock, there's no checkered flag. So, you know, I believe that somehow you need to be able to watch our sport like soccer, like football, to get to the next level. Um, there needs to be these criteria that define what's going on and people need to easily be able to know who's winning, why people are winning, uh, because that just allows a, a little bit more engagement. You know, like at the end of the day, the product that we have does not need to be sold. You watch drifting, whether you know what it is or not, you think it's cool, but to get to that next level and engage people that aren't hardcore into drifting, we need to figure out a way to make it easier for people to understand. Um, and it's challenging because, you know, everybody wants to keep the core and everybody wants to stay true to the sport. But, you know, at the end of the day, I believe we need to adapt to keep the sport alive and continue to create uh, opportunity for, uh, for the future and, and the guys that are coming up in the next generation. So uh, it's very interesting. You know, at the end of the day, it's a sport full of passion. It's a sport full of amazing, hardworking drivers, and it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's just uh, very interesting to see, you know, what the future is going to hold on a global scale. But at the end of the day, as long as we're all smiling and having a good time, that's what it's about.